Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode two of The Last of Us and I'm so excited. I have been like waiting all week for this. It feels like the week has gone so slowly because I've just been waiting and dying for this. Um, I do wanted to let you guys know though that I'm going to go into this. I know episode one, I did have like a spoiler warning at the beginning. Um, I am going to scratch that and I'm going to try my best to go into this without spoiling anything from the game. I will discuss spoilers and comparisons afterwards in my discussion. Um, but while I'm reacting to it so that people can still watch my reactions, I'm going to react to it as if it's all brand new. I mean, most of, a lot of it is new. A lot of it is going to be different from the game anyway. Um, so I'm not going to be saying like big spoilers or, you know, plot twists or anything during my reaction this time. Um, so I apologize that I did last time. I know I give a warning anyway, but I, I'm sorry for anyone who wasn't able to watch my video. But, um, from, from here on, I will, I will do everything I can to either not mention it or cut it out. So you don't need to worry about spoilers. If there is anything that does get spoiled, I will put a warning just before that section and when to skip to, but I'm going to try my best not to. It's hard because I want to compare things like, oh, but I know when this happened and this, like, you, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best. So um yeah, let's get into the episode. I'm so excited. Woman's just trying to enjoy your salad. Well, lady, you have no idea what you're about to go up against. <laughs> oh good god. Dude, she was just trying to have a nice lunch and now she's fucking been put up to all of this? Like, I want a refund. There it is, guys. The Bite of 87. Or 2003 in this case. The Bite of 03! Uh, I cannot watch this bit! Uh -huh. I'm so squeamish, I can't handle this. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, what is happening? Oh, this is so disgusting. Oh, the fungus. Oh, oh. Originally, when I first saw it coming out of the old woman's like mouth, I thought it was hair. I thought she was just ripping hair, but then I was told that it wasn't hair and it was actually the fungus. And now I'm just like, I'm gonna need something stronger than tea to drink, my dear. What would do we do? You survive. <laughs> you run. You hide. You die. Bomb. Bomb. Jesus Christ! That was not the answer I was expecting. How are you supposed to tell your family what you just saw, though? Like, no one's gonna believe you. I mean, she didn't believe it at first. Like, when she saw the, like, microscope and stuff. Like, bruh. Oh, this music! Ba, 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 ba. This is the intro that you will never, ever, ever skip. Like, if you skip this intro, I worry for you. Like, this song is just perfection. Damn, it's so aesthetically pleasing. God, I love this show. <laughs> I feel like they're just gonna, like, question her. Oh! Morning. I mean, I wouldn't wake mind waking up to seeing Pedro looking at me like that, but... Ah. Preferably without that part. Do I look like I'm infected? Show us your arm. I mean, you do look like you're infected, yes, because you do have a bite mark. The attitude and the sarcasm is perfect. There's not going to be anything bad in here? Just you. Oh, funny. <laughs> nice one, Joel. Can I have a gun? Absolutely no. not. Okay, Jesus, fine. I'll just have a fucking sandwich at them. <laughs> to throw a sandwich oh my god i love her so much dude bella bella has killed it oh my god 
They're the perfect Ellie. I don't care what anyone says. Oh my god. Dude. In the daylight. This looks insane. Fuck. Holy shit. Dude, there's no way that this is real. Am I dreaming? Like, what the fuck? It's the long way or the we're fucking dead way. Well, I vote long way just based on that limited information. Yeah, I would vote long way too, honestly. Just check it from the hotel first. Fucking hell, so this... I can't get over how good this shit looks. How did you get bit? You know the old mall in the QZ? The one that's sealed off and boarded up and no one's supposed to go in? Ever? That one? So it was just you in there alone? Yeah. That's not true! How old are you? Oh, I mean, you got some balls on you, sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. That is fucking scary. That doesn't look very healthy for the ducks to be in. <gasps> the frog played the piano! Oh, I need a froggy! I love him! Oh, I love him so much! This is me exploring in the games. Yes, ma'am. Would you like me to check your luggage? Yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. You're I'm... a weird kid. You're a weird kid. <laughs> Ugh. Disgusting. He helped her. Joel's just like, you're leaving me with a kid? The fuck do I do with a kid? <laughs> Where'd you learn to do that? The circus. <laughs> well done, Tess. What now? God fucking nope. There's so many. Yeah, that doesn't look very inviting. Don't touch it, that's gross. Could mean they're all finally dead in there. Don't jinx it, Joel. Please don't jinx it. I have a spare hand. Congratulations. <laughs> They were just meant for each other. They really were just meant for each other. And I mean, Bella and Pedro and Ellie and Joel. They're both perfect. But I also am loving Tess as well. I think Tess is wonderful. Not the biggest fan of her in the game. No reason, I'm just not. But I absolutely love her in this. Oh, shit. Would you hear? Who would you hear? Are you saying that they did that? Because I've been attacked by one and it wasn't like that. Simon. Uh -huh. No question. Oh god, I know exactly. Oh fuck, no! 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 Oh, this is the part I have been dreading. Because they freak me the fuck out. Stop creaking the stairs! Oh! And you've definitely just woke it. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for the noise. And there it is. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, no! I'm not ready! Fuck! 
making me nervous. But I feel sick. I actually feel sick. They look disgusting. They sound disgusting. I- I'm- This is worse than the game. Bloody hell, that was, oh god, I hate it, I hate it, I hate, oh, eh, eh. fucking hell. I didn't shit my pants. I be, I pretty much feel like I did. I thought being in the game and playing yourself and being against them yourself would make it scarier, but no, watching it like this in real, like feeling like it's real life is even scarier. Thanks. It's even scarier than being against it yourself. Fuck. Okay, don't do what I do and fall off the side of the plank in the game. I have done that a lot. See, he has much better balance in this than he does in the game. Them both together, I'm gonna cry. I'm so happy that they used familiar music. Because it makes it feel more real, more like The Last of Us. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh, shit, I did. Can we not keep Please, Tess? Yes, Please. Please. Well, that's fucking wonderful. They're connected. Oh god, is that the big pileup? Oh my god, it is. Oh fucking hell. Oh good god. God damn, Tess. God fucking damn. Well, this is different, and this is very unexpected. Come on, come on. Oh, that's fucking horrifying. Oh! Oh my god, my entire body is so tensed up right now. Fuck. Fucking hell, what a sacrifice, Tess. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Oh, good God, that was a hell of a fucking episode. This show is... Uh, it's been two episodes, and I'm just... I am i am stunned at how well they have killed it and how well they've pulled it off. Everything. Not a single thing is out of place. It There is not a single flaw with this show. Like, good God. Oh, I, I can't say anything other than swear words right now. That's the only thing that describes even slightly how I'm feeling is just fuck shit god damn it like I was not expecting okay so again this is gonna lead into this discussion will lead into comparisons with the game as well so beware if you haven't played the game and you don't want spoilers for the game side of things obviously they're very similar but there is some differences so from here on I will be talking spoilers regarding this episode compared to this section of the game. I won't be spoiling the future of the game. I will just be comparing this episode to what happens in this section of the game. Um, so Tess's death was different. I was not expecting her to get killed by a stalker. 
in the most creepiest fucking way. The way that it just comes up to your face and the fungus. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck is that shit all about? That's disgusting. Like, compared to her, like, standing and getting, sh like, gunned down by the soldiers, I feel like this was... I feel like this was a better way for the show to go. I like that they did this. I like that they changed it up a little bit and made it even fucking scarier like they have turned this into a horror show like a terrifying thing and i'm sad i'm really sad because i love this version of tess i love her so much and she was such a good addition um to like the team and i didn't want to i didn't want to lose her so quickly man i wanted more time with her like yeah i like they're progressing it you know at a decent pace but my god, I didn't want to lose her. Like, ugh. and now we're gonna have to go next. Okay, no, I can't talk about what's happening next. But well, I mean, they did say we have to go see Bill and Frank, and I'm just like, I just, I'm just not ready for the show to keep progressing. Like, I just, oh god, I, I do love, you know, and I obviously Ellie and Joel are starting to understand each other a tiny bit. They're sensing the sarcasm between both of them and they realize that they both have very similar, like, fuck you humor kind of thing. And I am very excited now to see just them two together and see how they progress their relationship in this show. Um, I am excited for more of the scenery and more of the surroundings because it's absolutely phenomenal. I can't get over how good everything looks. Like, it just looks like... It looks like they've taken us and thrown us into the game. I can't, I can't get over it. It's so good. Uh, I also want to just let people know that um, because of because of comments on my previous video, basically, I want to say that if I use she pronouns, I am talking about Ellie as a character. If I use they pronouns, I am talking about Bella. I had someone say that I was using the wrong pronouns for Bella, which I haven't. I have specifically called Bella by they them pronouns which you know as a non-binary person i know these things so you don't need to tell me if i have used she it has been regarding ellie as a character not bella ellie so i just want to put that out there and let people know that if i use she it's about ellie because i don't want people coming at me being like oh you're using the wrong pronouns i'm literally non-binary shut the fuck up <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, I I that, I can't, like, oh my god, the show has done this so well, and the clickers, I, like, the way that she just breathed and they heard her, like, what the fuck, man? That's terrifying. They're ten times more scary. Like I said earlier, it feels like if you're in the video game playing it yourself, it is very scary because you're the one that's fighting him. You're the one that has to be quiet and you're the one that's up against them. So I would automatically think that that's the scarier part. I didn't think the show could make me feel even more scared and even more sick than I do in the game. I think because it is showing real life, like it's not like animated, it's not anything like that. It is real. I think that's what makes it scarier. And I am not ready for future let's say clickers and more um for anyone who knows exactly what i'm talking about i'm not ready for for yeah for that um i like i have no words for this show i just i am so excited that this is a real show i'm excited for the characters that we're gonna get to meet along the way i'm so oh god i can't i don't have the words i don't know how to process my feelings and emotions right now um, I'll probably have more to say on it later when I'm not recording, but currently I just need time to process it because it, it's a 10 out of 10 show. It is 10 out of 10. I, I personally haven't seen a single flaw with it yet. Not a single fucking thing. Um, everything is perfect. The casting is perfect. I did quite enjoy the segment at the beginning though as well with like them going in to test the people to see, you know, to prove to this woman like, you know, hey, this shit's real what do we do about it? You know, can we make a cure? And she's like, no. What do we do? Bomb. Like, the way she just outright said bomb was scary. Like, she she was just like, no, we're fucked. She knew from that instant that she saw that shit, she knew that they were fucked. Once she saw that fungus, she was like, nope, just bomb everything. Just get rid of everything, be gone, done with it. The world is ending. Like, oh, God. 
So I do like that they're adding little extra sections in that weren't in the game and to help, you know, the viewer see, you know, this is what happened. This is why it happened. This is how serious it is kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I absolutely adore the way it's going. It's perfect. And I hope you guys are enjoying it too. So make sure you subscribe for more, uh, more reactions. Um, I'm currently reacting to The Bad Batch on Wednesdays and obviously The Last of Us on Mondays. And eventually I will be doing uh, The Mandalorian also on Wednesdays from March. So make sure you subscribe for more content and I will see you guys in the next video. So peace and don't let any clickers get you.